Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest. We have the Lord of Vampirium. You can start this quest by speaking to Vanessa Draken by the rowboat entrance to Meyerditch. Requirements is the branches of Darkmire as well as 79 construction, 78 slayer, 76 hunter, 75 attack, 75 constitution, 75 defense, 75 strength, and the ability to enter Mortenia. What you need is the Darkmire disguise as well as blisterwood weaponry. Hopefully you still have some left over otherwise you're going to be heading to to Darkmire and woodcutting and the tree and making some more. I had some stakes still left over, so I guess I will be doing range. Now, literally, you should have nothing except for that and the Draken's Medallion. All armor and food is acquired during the quest. You cannot even bring potions with you. So for those that have lost the Darkmire outfit, you will have to go back to the Darkmire area. The places where you can find said outfit is once again in the crates in this building here. I hope it's showing my mouse. Yeah, right there, right there, that house, and that house as well. This is assuming it is not in your bank or in your player-owned house. It will be in your fancy dress box if you are if you put it in there. And for those that do not have any charges left on their Draken's pendant, you can always go to Burderot and go right here and dip your pendant in the blood pool. It can hold 10 charges. It will kind of be useful. So to get there quickly, we're going to teleport to Berderot and head just east to the docks that would take you to Meyerditch. <clears throat> Accept the quest. Keep in mind, if you do not have blister wood, um, evandals will work too. So let's take the boat. Go to the Icean graveyard. Saffalon. Okay, so we need to make this entire ring blue. And that's how we're going to open the door. Closer. And that is going to be the solution for our puzzle. So now we have a pendant. Speak to Safon. So with your medallion, select Meyerditch. Go to the middle of the room. Seems to be a little conference going on. Okay, 
Let's go to the main meeting room. Saplin. Wonderful, so I have to do their dirty work again. Let's go to Darkmire. Oh, that's a Bloodward tree, okay. Let's walk towards the Blisterwood tree. Let me in. Well, let's find out how to make this new stuff. So if you don't know how to make your stuff again, it's just simple fletching. First you need a piece of blisterwood tree wood. Then you would craft it, choose a knife, and choose whatever you want, especially with some of the new stuff that we can do, like uh, dual wielding, which is something I want to do. So I am going to pause, and I am going to make myself some offhand blisterwood stakes, because I am going to do range. See you in a bit. Okay, now that I'm done procrastinating, please keep in mind that you do not need to go overboard like me. I just like going overboard for no apparent reason, plus I get to procrastinate. So if you want to hear more about the plan, speak to Veliev. And you can now use blah, 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 blah. You know, some of the new stuff that we just spent more time than we should have making. <clears throat> so now let's go outside and go west. To this group of vampires that are hanging around doing absolutely nothing. Speak to Mornid. So let's go here. To Ye Old House. You remember this place, right? Wonderful boss battle. Search the crate. And go back to Veliev. Ready to proceed.
equip your new stuff. So we can look as fancy as them. Now let's go back and we need to speak to Vanesqua. Vanescula, sorry. Okay, so remove your weapons if you have them. Because I, I don't think the vampires would like you walking around their place with stuff that can kill them. Awesome. So let's speak with Lady Shadow first. Humiliate him. to Lord Alexei. Try the old man. He looks defiant. the bats as well that will gain you some speak to Lord Mishka Show her mercy. Make her feel better. Speak to Vanesqua. Vanescula. I have to keep remembering that.
I kill them myself. If you answer one of these questions wrong, just hit escape and then click on Draken again and you'll be able to redo it for the most reputation you can. That all human captives should be set free. And human-born vampires should be stopped. Ugh, yeah, I think I'd rather call the... It doesn't really matter which you do because they're going to attack anyway and you're going to end up in cells. Wonderful. So you will get hurt by opening the doors, but we need to open them. So go to the west. We need to rotate the rings to free our companions. Okay, so might as well just do the outside first and work our way in. So that's the solution to that one. So go north and speak to Sathan. Also go through the dungeon exit. This looks like a fun place. Mm. 
go into this room to the east. Take some yummy stuff from the butchery table. You can hold up to 20. It is stackable and it heals 2000 HP. Feel free to read the um, questionable book. Let's go to the very south room. Now we need to match people up with their blood locks. And investigate the Jovke blood lock. For Jovkai, it should be Saflin. For Shadam, it should be Vertida. For Vitter, it should be Palmafi. For Mermel, it should be Macritus. For pirate should be Kyle. For Alzef, it should be Radagad. For Grazi, it should be Vilif. And Draken should be Ivan. And we should be able to unlock the door. And get the hell out of here. So at this point, you're going to want to make sure that your stuff is equipped. You're going to want to keep the house dragon stuff on because it is the only armor you have. And whatever blister wood, or if you chose to have Evanda's flail, you're going to want to have that equipped as it's the only weapon you get. So let's go to the east. Let's enter the tunnel to the east. Vandalizes statue. Embrace the castle door. Kill the venators as they come out. So now we should try to leave. Climb the stairs to try and leave. 
If at any point you run out of jerk and you need more, right click Ivan for some. He'll only let you have four at a time though. If you die, you're gonna end up in the Arboretum again, where the Blisterwood tree is. We're supposed to start smashing stuff, pick up the debris, and there's supposed to be windows we're supposed to barricade. Oh, I'm going to get attacked. So that's what we were supposed to have done with the barricades before that stupid bar wound down. So before we go to the next room, smash everything else because we're taking everything with us. The timer goes a lot quicker in the next room, so all the debris you can get your hands on will be better. So he's going to make us shore up the windows anyway. Okay, now we can unlock the blood tech. Hurry up and use what we have to barricade one of the windows at least. Get to smashing and collecting. And barricading. I'm going to get the rest of the chair debris because we get to do that one more. So word to the wise, smash everything you can and bring everything for this last room too. Let's go to the next door. Unlock the tith for this, and then we're going to want to lift the table when we get in the room. Kill the manager. Back 
like to lift in the table? Let's open the way to the next one. Smash stuff, we need to barricade those windows. I'm not going to be able to barricade both of them in time, so. We won't be let to continue until we barricade the window, broken or not. Okay. Next puzzle. So at any time for this puzzle, if you mess up, just speak to Paul Maffey and he'll reset the thing for you. So rotate a clockwise. Oops. Rotate B clockwise. Rotate C clockwise. Until it locks. Rotate D clockwise. Rotate E clockwise once. Then D clockwise once. Use ring C to get ring D into the position it should, which is anti clockwise. There we go. Rotate B to get C back where it should, which is clockwise. And then A we use to do it all together. I really should have done it anti-clockwise. Oops, whatever. But there you go. That's how you complete that puzzle. A little bit funner, no? Let's climb the stairs. We need to go into each room and open stuff up. Open up the blood valves. Oh, stupid Ivan getting himself killed. Now we need to kill this one.
Okay, let's go into the other room and open the blood valve there. Let's get downstairs and leave them alone to their own little devices. Try to enter. Open the blood valve to this room. Climb back down the stairs. Okay, now to solve this one. So first have A locked into place. Then B. Then C. E anti-clockwise three times. D anti-clockwise as well three times. Rotate C clockwise until D turns blue. B clockwise until C locks blue. And now A to lock everything in. Climb up the stairs. And we can begin our multiple stages to fight Draken. This will be fun. For each stage, it saves after each stage, so you will not have to do it over again. That's if you leave or die after one phase has been done. After each stage, your health prayer will be restored, as well as if your jerky went under 10, he will be restored back up to 10. You can also leave after each phase, or just before the next phase starts and you will be able to do, say you want to do overloads or something. You can't bring the overloads into the battle with you, but you can pop it and then go into the battle and the effects will carry on. And if at any point you die or leave and you're put back to the Arboretum, you can continue to the fight by clicking on the gates to Castle Draken. So for the first phase, you're going to have to fend off three Venators. So pop those off and the phase will be over when he hurls his spear at Venescula.
for the second phase, you have to watch out when he yells ha ha ha, he's going to summon bombs. Stay away from those. <laughs> you, They hurt quite a lot. He also has an ability which allows him to heal 10% of his current health. And can, he can also pull in and stun you. He usually does that attack after he says, you there think you can escape. And he'll also dis it'll also disable your deflecting prayers. You can use freedom to get away from this. If you stay close enough to Draken, he will not drag you in and stun you. So try to do that. So as soon as you are done dodging the bombs, try to keep close to him. And after the second stage has been done, he'll transform into a poofy cloud. Um, you just speak to whoever you can click on to continue on with the fight. If at any point during phase, he's going to have the abilities of phase two, but if at any point during phase three, he says, fear me, get the hell away from him. Um, I don't know if he actually says embrace darkness or if it's just the ability he uses, but he'll launch, he'll throw a red sphere at you. What you have to do is you have to stand in the sphere of uh, light and that will make sure that that does not damage you. And stage four, he gets something new where he can stun you again some more, called still trying to run, and then he'll say get over here. The fifth phase is for the last time. Vanescula will appear and stab her brother. He will attack quite frequently, like he just goes berserk. So it's best that you hit and run attack him and just keep moving. Oh, I guess I should finish the fucker. Hey, asshole. Die.
well, let's speak to the last dragon. Speak to Ivan, escort him. So let's follow his advice, go back to Varrock and speak to King Roald. about Mauritania. Congratulations, you've completed the Lord of Vampirium. You're awarded two quest points, a tome of XP with three chapters, each giving 75k XP in whatever skill you want, 75k XP in construction, 50k in hunter, slayer, uh, sunspear, you get to keep the House of Draken outfit, uh, you get Draken's Wings cosmetic override, you can create all the new Blisterwood weapons thanks to this, and you are given two treasure hunter keys if you are not an Iron Man. You're also giving two titles, which is 
your name of the Marek and your name of Vampirium. And the Sunspear weapon, when you kill the Virewatch, it automatically burns them. And this will count towards any achievements you need to do for this. And apparently it's supposed to be good. People are doing it. Meh. That I'll leave that up to you to decide whether or not it's good at the time that you do this quest. So there you go. I hope you enjoy the rewards. And I'll see you for the next one because it'll be interesting to see what came out of that hole. Friends, please say nothing about that. Ciao!